Hey everybody, it's me again. I'm not lost anymore. Yeah, I'm sure you'll all be pleased to know. Uh, I found the trail. Turns out I was two mountains over. Because I saw a road from the top of the second mountain and I'm just like, that road would probably lead to somewhere. So I just walked, 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 walked for an hour until I got to the road. And there were some people camped there. It's like, do you speak English? Oh, we speak a little bit. And it was, and they were actually very good at English. And yeah, they said, I said, is this the road to Sloaros? And they're like, yes, yes. And I'm like, oh, thank God. And they're like, where are you from? Uh, Canada. And they're like, oh, okay. Yeah. Of course, the person who gets lost two mountains away is from Canada. Anyways, I walked for about another hour. I think it's 3.15 now, and I started... Well, I left Hovden at... Uh, 11. So I've been walked for two hours, got lost for an hour, took about 15 minutes uh, on top of that to return to the right path, walked for another hour, so uh, yeah. I am beat. My feet are sore, but I think there's only maybe another hour, maybe two, of walking, and I think I can take it. Although tomorrow morning, my legs and feet are going to be so painful, and I'm going to have to walk through them, like walk through the pain. Anyways, you heard, you might have heard the uh, little chuckling scream that I found. Surprisingly enough, water flowing down mountains is incredibly clean and very, very nutritious. It's full of like minerals and stuff. So of course I pour uh, some saft into it to make it into juice. Yeah. But it's mountain spring juice. It's, it's sap made with water from a mountain spring. So I'm just taking a break. Uh, ooh, excuse me. Taking a break. In the middle of nowhere, well, mountains, see, mountains, 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 giant rock. There always seems to be a giant rock. It's just, I don't know, it's weird. I came all the way down from up there. I feel really silly because it turns out that there's signposts in the middle of nowhere. You just have to know where to look. And they tell you exactly where you need to go. Although some of them point at a mountain. It's just like, Sloros, that way. It's like, mountain? Mountain? And then you see the little, like, goat poop strewn trail leading, like, sort of around it a bit, but still up. And you're like, ah, the goat path. Right, I should have known. Norway. But hey, it's hiking. That's what it's all about. Not sure if you can see it, but right there, yeah, you can see it. That's the path I need to take, so I'm probably just gonna like hop back over there, go around and over there, I'll end up down in that valley, I'm assuming. My compass says Sloaros is on the other side of that giant rock, or in that direction, I mean. It's, the compass can't tell me where it is. It's in the direction of that giant rock, so that path looks like it's gonna go around the rock and down and Stuff. Talked to a guy along the trail who had done the same thing and he said, yep, yeah, first three days are going to be your hardest because I, apparently I have to either walk all the way around this gigantic lake or see if I can get someone to give me a boat ride across. So I have to be a very convincing, like sensually convincing terrorist. I mean, uh, tourist. Tourist, that's what I meant. <laughs> oh, oh, wow. I don't know if I should put this on the internet anymore. Look at that mountain. Yes. What a beautiful country. I love Norway. I would never be a terrorist.
Ah, it's good. Anyways, I was thinking about uh, <laughs> some things. I have a friend in Canada, or it's a co-worker's husband, so yeah, I still consider him a friend. And I was having a conversation with him. And I was talking about, oh, I'm going on this big trip, and about how my friends are saying how lucky I am, and he's like, wait, no. Your friends are saying that you're lucky. There's no luck involved. I'm like, well, yeah, I guess. Like, I worked for two years saving up the money for this trip, and it turns out I don't think I have enough for the entire trip, but hey, I'll go as far as I can, then I'll fall on my ass and busk with my trumpet. Yeah! But I'll have to send for my trumpet. It's at my mom's house, so I'm sure she wouldn't mind mailing it to me and wherever the heck I am. Sitting on the middle of a trail in the mountains, playing trumpet. Money for the poor. One crown, two crown, three crown, four. I don't know. Cool thing about the mountains, there's not very many bugs. Like, the most bugs I've seen of the same kind are these weird spiders with white butts. But whenever you get close, they jump away. Like, they hop. Literally, they hop. Like, frogs or something. Rather creepy. Um, yeah. Beautiful country. Um, yeah. Anyways, that's my map case. My map's in it. Toilet paper, that's always important. Bike lock so that I can lock my uh, backpack stuff. Bedroll. My camera little satchel bag thingy that the camera goes in. Ever important sap. A bag here of mixed nuts and dried fruit, which is trail food, good protein. Of course, my sword, which has now been con called Grace, because I do like Grace, and the Ankh fell off somewhere when I was doing my little exercise bit, but that's fine. I'm sure it'll bring life to the land. I think that's kind of, like, epic, don't you? Those sheep are everywhere, man. They are everywhere. Anyways, sitting around's making me chilly. And my battery is low, so I'll have to charge it at the hip end. If I make it. So this is, uh... This is me, signing off from the middle of the mountains in Norway. Not the middle, it's around, like, the bottom section. Anyways, peace.